Hi, I'm Ola England, and what about using plugins live? am I doing? If you've been paying attention lately, there's been a lot of really awesome new plugins coming to the market and it seems like finally there are plugins that represent a real tube amplifier completely. And with all these new plugins being so awesome, how would it fare in a live situation? Huh. Oh, oh, I wonder. Oh, crazy. I mean, think like this. Think that you would just bring your laptop computer to a gig. Now, either you will be able to go direct from your audio interface of your computer into a mixing console and just use the sound of that. But, I mean, how would it fare if I hook it up to an effects loop return of an amplifier and try that? And then you're asking, well, that's stupid because then you still need to bring an amplifier anyway, you stupid bitch. In my case, for instance, with the Haunted, when we play live, I usually just bring a preamp like the Fractal Axe 8 pedal and borrow whatever backline amplifier they have at that festival or that venue. It's a good way for me to have a preamp sound that I'm comfortable with and I can bring with me without the need to bring an amplifier with me, okay? And uh, an absolute worst case scenario, if it's a shitty amplifier at the venue, I can go direct to the mixing desk from the Fractal Axe 8. It's very convenient and saves the band a lot of money not having to ship amplifiers around. Now, as a band, you're always trying to find the most convenient way of bringing as little stuff as possible, but still maintain a kick-ass live sound on stage. But what if I replaced my preamp Axe 8 pedal with a computer? That's what I'm doing this early Sunday morning. I'm hooking up my computer and audio interface direct into the effects loop return of my Randall Satan. That means that I'm plugging my guitar into my Apogee Ensemble interface. And if you're wondering, Ola, what happened to your Apollo 8 interface? It blew up last week. I was sad. So my guitar goes into my Apogee Ensemble into Logic Pro X. And in Logic Pro X, I have, oh, where's the mouse? I have an audio bus here, uh, or an auxiliary bus with my guitar as an input. Here I've loaded in a noise gate and the Fortin nameless plugin, obviously turning off the cabinet section because we're doing that for real here. And then I route that bus to a physical output on my Apogee Ensemble. From the Apogee, I send the bus signal to the effects loop return of my Randall Satan 50. And the Satan is plugged into my Hesu 2x12 and I'm using my new Lewitt 440 microphone to pick up the sound. Did you, uh, did you understand that? No? Good. Let's just go. Uh. So now, obviously, since I'm using the effects loop return of the amplifier, none of these controls matter except the depth, the presence, and the master volume. All other changes I can do in uh, Logic here. So here... The cool thing here is that I can do whatever I want now. I have a channel strip here. I can add a, uh, I can add a delay if I want to. It, oh, it's not possible because I'm recording right now, but maybe later, okay. So I mean, the possibilities are just way larger. You can MIDI control uh, logic as well. And uh, yeah, so you can engage plugins, delay stuff like that, change channels or whatever using a MIDI control. I guess it's kind of complicated to set it up, but Nothing is impossible here. Also, one thing to mention here is that, that the Fortin Nameless plugin has the power amp section engaged in the actual plugin. So we're getting a double 
power amp coloring going since I'm using the power amp of the Satan as well. So that was just a little side note. Does it matter? You yeah. decide. I don't know. Go hug a tree or something. I don't know. Let's just listen. <laughs> doing all right let me add a delay just to try it out a little bit because i'm an asshole okay stereo delay mono because it's a mono signal Oh, I need to practice that. All right, so my conclusion, it sounds fucking awesome. So would this be something that I can bring on my MacBook Pro and use in a live environment? Yes and no, I would say. Sound-wise, there's no question. It sounds absolutely killer, but I'm not sure personally that I'm ready to trust having a computer as a setup yet for live use. I mean, will it be reliable? Who knows? I mean, maybe it's even more reliable than having an Axe 8 or even a tube amplifier that could, you know, these can also fail. But, you know, this has definitely sparked some kind of idea in my head for the future. So, we're just gonna see what happens. If you're a member, I will post a link to download these recorded files. And if you want to become a member, you can click here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.